Well, death in reverse in the center of your reading. This talks about a personal transformation. What's the personal transformation? Well, the personal transformation is justice in reverse. Justice in reverse talking about an injustice, dishonesty, a lack of accountability to the devil in reverse, releasing limiting beliefs. So in the center of this reading, what this talks about is the decision that you have to make and why you are so inside of yourself is do you forgive the injustice that this person perpetrated against you or not? In either way, it's going to be a personal transformation because you're either going to decidedly decide that you don't want anything to do with this and that's going to give you some kind of release or you're going to decide that the injustice is reconciled. Hey Aquarius, what's up? It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic, yay! Used to be Deep Thoughts with Dana, but we are the Gypsy Psychic these days, right? All right, you guys, so I'm going to throw some cards for you. I just really just want to. So I'm going to, we're going to do a quick read for Aquarius. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing well. Cannot complain. So it's going to work like it always does. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it as I clarify it. I'm going to confuse the hell out of you. And then I'll read it as a story. Most likely. Sometimes it works a different way, but that's probably what will happen. All right. You need to know about me. I swear. I'm probably going to swear. If I haven't sworn already, I'm probably going to swear. If that offends you, you probably ought to just go home right now. Okay. Um, sometimes I smoke my vape. Sometimes I don't. Depends. If uh, it bothers you, then you might want to go home now. Otherwise, let's cut some cards for Aquarius. All right. Spirit. Source. Universal. Look at you guys. Universal energy. I have the collective of Aquarius with me and they want to know what you know. Spirit, what do you know about Aquarius and what do they need to know about the situations and circumstances in their life? Spirit, Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is you're going to say in these cards. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring the messages to the collective of Aquarius that they need to know. It's going to stop. Ah, every time I go to stop, I'm just going to put it right back where it was, exactly how it was, and I'm going to stop right there because that's where I feel I need to stop. All right, you guys, let's cut three times and see what we get. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck. Strength in reverse. All right. First card out. You in the reverse. Not purposeful. Despair. Four of cups in reverse. Um, apathetic. Stubborn. Refusal. Um, distracted. Two of pentacles in reverse. Imbalanced. Wow. The high priestess in reverse. A secret. Ignoring your intuition. To the Six of Cups, family, home, memories, reconciling, someone from your past. The Hierophant in reverse, huh? So the reevaluation of some kind of belief system, the cutting of some kind of commitment. Princess of Wands, and you guys saw me shuffle these cards. I mean, I swirled them in everything, right? If you don't read reversals, you're limiting the tarot to only 50% of its power, okay? Princess of Wands in reverse, um, aimlessly drifting, death in reverse, in the center of your reading, a transformation, a personal transformation, Scorpio energy, the t and we have Pisces right there, and of course Aquarius, we have Taurus, interesting, um, the Ten of Swords in, t oh, the Ten of Swords in reverse, regeneration, the Ten of Pentacles, the future, foundation, money. The Seven of Wands, a challenge. The Ten of Wands, a burden. 
The Ace of Cups, you got feels though. The Fool in Reverse, Foolish. King of Wands in Reverse, Egocentric, Self-Centered. Five of Wands, Conflict. Queen of Swords, Making a Decision. Right there's you. To the Five of Swords, Win at All Costs, Betrayal. King of Swords in Reverse, Manipulator. The Sun, Happiness. The Eight of Cups, Leaving It Behind. King of Pentacles in Reverse, because he can't ever be that. To the Two of Cups, The Hanged Man in Reverse. And the Tower, the Chariot in Reverse. The Prince of Pentacles in Reverse. The Five of Pentacles in Reverse. And the Three of Swords. Four of Pentacles. I'm good just like I am. Right there. I am good just like I am. Yep. Moon to the Eight of Pentacles. Yep. And the Four of Wands. Beautiful. All right. <clears throat> wow. Aqua. This is interesting. All right. Ready? All right. So Aquarius themselves with the star in a state of despair. All right, Aquarius, this is what's going on, okay? So the star in reverse, first card out, sets the tone for the whole reading. This is the card of Aquarius, okay? This is about hope and faith and purpose and renewal and the whole positive thing that you guys have all the time. Uh, humanity, right? Um, in the reverse, you are deep inside of yourself, deep inside of yourself, trying to discern purpose. The, the why something is happening. Why is this happening? Okay. You're deep inside of yourself, um, really soul searching yourself. Three of swords in reverse tells me that you have come to terms with something. You have come to terms and healed from some pain in the past. But this three of swords in reverse also tells me that perhaps what's happening here is that you're being asked to forgive and forget to reunite and reconcile some kind of differences with someone from your past. And that's why you're inside of yourself. You've, you've come to terms with it a long time ago, but now you're being asked to have forgiveness in a situation. Okay. Um, what's happening here? Okay. The four of cups in reverse, right? This is about rejection. It's about being apathetic. You are apathetic about it. What are you apathetic about? Well, this person coming towards you in the energy of the queen of wands to the knight of wands, okay? So what this is saying is that um, there is messages, someone from your past, <clears throat> possibly your immediate environment, coming towards you, wanting to achieve and succeed and taking inspired action towards you to ask for forgiveness or reconciliation some way. Right? And you're apathetic about it. The four of, or, or this four of cups in reverse could be that you, it's not even on your radar, right? You're not even thinking about it at all. <clears throat> and then here it comes. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right? Why are you apathetic? Well, because you're remembering the, remembering the great loss that happened between the two of you in the past. This could be a loss of money, a loss of security, a loss of home. This could be a job. This does not have to be a lover, okay? It could be a job could be family, all right? But there was a huge loss that you had to get over for a long time. The three of pentacles in reverse, and y'all hadn't had any kind of teamwork and collaboration since then. Things just have not been kosher since then. To the two of pentacles in reverse, things have been imbalanced. Um, this thing is imbalanced. Again, possibly could have caused you some financial issues. The high priestess in reverse, right? Spirit, major arcana saying that um, if you continue to ignore your intuition about this situation, um, 
you're going to be left to your own devices. Okay. Ignoring your intuition. Why are you ignoring your intuition? Well, because somebody wants to reconcile some kind of differences, either in your immediate surroundings or someone from your past, someone from your past who, where there was some kind of fuckery with the seven of swords, some kind of fuckery to the seven of wands in reverse, seven of wands in reverse, talking about um, just giving up, giving up on the whole thing. Two sevens right here. Seven is the number of exploration, discovery, investigation. So maybe you found something out that caused the rift in this whole relationship, but nevertheless, nevertheless, somebody is asking forgiveness from you and you're tempted to ignore your intuition and reconnect with this person. What are you ignoring? Well, the five of pentacles, right? The insecurity and the pain of being left out in the cold or having to leave this person in the past, because now what's dangling in front of your face is the four of wands, right? Some kind of harmonious, possibly stable connection with this person. The Hierophant in reverse, the reevaluation of a belief system. <clears throat> the reevaluation of a belief system, right? Because now you're being asked to forgive and forget, okay? A commitment that was cut loose in the past, now you have to reexamine how you believe about it to the fool because a new beginning and a new journey is being offered in this situation. It's asked, it's, 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 it's being, it's, be, it's asking to be renewed. The star in reverse again. There you are. W inside of yourself. Searching this in a state of despair. Why are you in a state of despair? Well, because you obviously have some kind of love for this person. Okay. To judgment. Um, there is a decision that needs to be made. And this decision will change the trajectory of your future. One way or another. There is a very big decision to be made. Do you reconnect? Do you forgive and forget? Or do you not? The princess of wands in reverse. This talks about not really having the mojo, not really having the desire. Why? Well, because you have set some boundaries. You have healed from this. You are going to protect yourself from this in the future. You've never really wanted this in the first place. And you're throwing up that sword and you're like, um, uh, no, <laughs> stop right there. Don't come any closer. What the fuck is going on here? That's what you're doing. It's totally what you're doing. What's going on is the page of cups. There's messages of creation coming in from someone who wants to reconcile. The eight of cups, right? This is abandonment. It is disappointment. And that's what you remember from the past, right? In the past, there was nothing but disappointment. But the nine of cups comes right after the eight of cups and escalates the situation and says, but now what's on offer is wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. Perhaps what I've always wanted. Well, death in reverse. In the center of your reading, this talks about a personal transformation. What's the personal transformation? Well, the personal transformation is justice in reverse. Justice in reverse talking about an injustice, dishonesty, a lack of accountability to the devil in reverse, releasing limiting beliefs. So in the center of this reading, what this talks about is the decision that you have to make and why you are so inside of yourself is do you forgive the injustice that this person perpetrated against you or not? In either way, it's going to be a personal transformation because you're either going to decidedly decide that you don't want anything to do with this and that's going to give you some kind of release or you're going to decide that the injustice is reconciled to the devil in reverse, releasing your limiting beliefs, releasing your limiting beliefs, detaching. Tell me about the devil in reverse right here. Tell me about the devil in reverse, right? What do you do? Do you take it or do you leave it? Ace of wands, inspired new beginnings, 
Knight of Cups in reverse or the same old hurt feelings? Is it inspired new beginnings or is it the same old hurt feelings? To the Ten of Swords in reverse, regeneration and renewal. That's what's on the table. To the Ten of Pentacles, right? It's tempting. It looks good. Perhaps this could be what you've always wanted it to be. The Eight of Wands, movement, action, and change. Communication that you need to make a decision about. Communication that you need to, I mean, even if it's as simple as looking at your phone and deciding whether to respond or not. But there is action that is being required of you to the seven of pentacles and you're thinking about what it is you're supposed to do thinking about how you got here thinking about what could make it better thinking about maybe what made it not good in the first place just thinking It'll, you have lots of sevens here investigation and discovery right page of swords in reverse is it still all talk no action and undelivered promises is it that's your questions here right is it five of wands is it the same old bullshit that it's always been seven of wands challenge ten of wands a burden why ace of cups because you have feelings for this person and this is an opportunity for a new beginning in love the magician manifesting do you manifest don't you manifest what would you be manifesting well you'd be manifesting the emperor in reverse for whoever it is that i am reading for right here this is the answer to your question the only way to know the real story the only way to know your own journey is to have your own cards read you cannot watch enough free tarot card readings to get the clarification and understanding because the tarot is an intimate tool. It goes from the meat, from the spirit to the medium to the recipient, not, the recipient, not an auditorium full of 80,000 viewers, right? The only way to know this is to have your own cards read, okay? So is it going to be the same old bullshit? Well, spirit says, be careful what you manifest. Because what you're manifesting here is the emperor in reverse. Nothing has changed. Nobody's changed. The fool in reverse. He's still or she's still the same fool that they've always been. And it is foolish of you to believe that anything has changed about this person in this situation. Why? Well, because this person is the king of wands in reverse. This person is an egocentric, self-centered narcissistic type of personality they 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 consume this is the the bad side of the fire right consumes to the five of wands and it is the same old bullshit the queen of swords it's the same bullshit that you cut out of your life once before to the five of swords always an ulterior motive to the king of swords in reverse, this person's a manipulator. To the sun, your happiness, your success, eight of cups, relies on you abandoning the situation. King of pentacles in reverse, because this person is incapable by the fabric of their being to be your king of pentacles. King, of Pen king and queen of pentacles is the ultimate relationship in the, the domestic relationship in the tarot, right? They both believe in the institution of love and family and marriage and the white picket fence and retirement and vacations, right? I mean, they're domestic, okay? The king of pentacles in the upright is like the be all to end all as far as um, significant others go, right? I mean, you know, let's hope there's a little water, a little fire, a little air up in there a little bit, but nevertheless, right? Um, it's the archetype of a good partner. In the reverse, this is saying this person is incapable of being that for you. Two of cups in a love relationship. The hangman in reverse. Resist this to the tower or it's going to cause upheaval and chaos in your life. 
the chariot in reverse, don't do this. The prince of pentacles in reverse, don't stay stuck. The five of pentacles in reverse, don't come out of the cold. The three of swords, grief, sorrow, pain, heartbreak is all you will get to the four of pentacles. Get control of yourself and stabilize your situation to the moon by going into your intuition and your subconscious mind and searching your soul to the eight of pentacles that will show you the direction that you need to put your efforts in to the four of wands to get real honest long-term stability and harmony in your life i don't know who i was reading for right there but i'm reading for somebody that is coming up against a decision as to whether to reunite or reconcile some kind of significant relationship in their life a relationship that has brought an injustice before. I don't know, Aqua. I don't know. But they haven't changed. Whoever, whatever this is, they haven't changed. Because Spirit's warning you right there that they haven't changed. So, anyhow, I hope this helped you somehow, some way. Um, right on. Namaste.